Hello. This unit's on project cost management. Now, cost management refers to the activities about planning and controlling a project's budget. There are four key processes to plan cost management. There are four processes in project cost management. One, plan cost management. Plan cost management is, especially in the cost management section of the project management plan, is a very important part. You're actually going to plan how you're going to uh, develop the costs. Who's going to develop the costs? How are you going to develop the costs? Where are you going to get these figures from? How are you going to calculate these figures? How are you going to report on the costs of the project? Uh, what templates are you going to use? Um, uh, who's going to do it? What's, the, the, what's the, the format of the report? When are you going to report? All of these things should be in the plan cost management section of the cost management plan. Um, and so a lot of these things uh, need to be done at the beginning so that when you come to estimating costs, which is the next process, you already know how you're going to estimate it and who's going to estimate it and all of that. So the second uh, process is estimate costs. This is where you go through uh, a bunch of tools and techniques and you try to figure out how much the project's going to cost. Um, finally, you determine the budget. And then the fourth process is control costs. So what are the tools and techniques? Well, they're very similar to the time one. Uh, there's expert judgment analogous estimating, parametric estimating, uh, bottoms up, um, three-point estimating. So all of those are similar to uh, estimating time and durations. However, there's a couple of other techniques for costs. There's also data analysis, which basically looks at past documentation, um, going online and figuring out what certain activities cost or what type of uh, materials, costs, all that things. And then and finally, there's a vendor bid analysis, where you look at the bids from other vendors. You send out a tender, and you get bids back from vendors. And based on what the vendors are um, bidding, what they are saying they can do it for, you can use those figures to try and estimate your project. OK, so then. When you take all of those estimations, you determine the budget. You add them all up. Um, when you add it up, you also want to know about the known unknowns, which are risk assessments. Now, risk assessments uh, you'll find out later in uh, this module, but it's basically trying to figure out what the costs of risks are. You analyze risks, you figure out like if they do occur, what, what is their cost, and you add that into your project plan. The more likely or impactful a risk is, the more important it is that you include um, these numbers in your budget because this could derail your budget. And so it's very important that you have good figures. Um, you also have to figure out the unknown unknowns. Now this is not, these are just kind of an added on, just in case type of scenario. Just in case. And the, uh, the uh, project manager does not control this. The sponsor or customer controls this. It's added on to the cost of the project, but it's not um, added on to the authority of the ma project manager. In, in other words, if the project is so behind that we actually need this extra money, the project manager has to go to the sponsor or the customer and explain to them why he needs this money. And that's it for this unit.